thanks for visiting MyRCCenter.com and uh, watching our videos. I really do appreciate it. If you see anything that you can use and that you like, uh, please give us a share, subscribe to us, and uh, give us a like. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, using different colored tissues on your models. Uh, generally, that when you buy a, a kit, especially from Gillows, they do supply uh, a one color tissue with the model. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and uh, try and lighten your model by not painting it, you can go ahead and get different color tissue and uh, put your color scheme together that way. Um, I haven't found very many uh, sources of uh, the t color tissue on the internet. But uh, what I do, I do have one, and I'll put that down in the description where you can go link to it and see what they've got and see if it's anything you like. And uh, as I continue to find them, I'll continue to update that description center for you. Uh, this one I've gone ahead and done the sky blue on the bottom, and I've done the, the uh, tan at the top. Uh, using the color tissue drops the weight dramatically because you're not putting a lot of paint on it. And that's fine if you're going to just paint it and put it on the shelf to look at. That's great. Uh, but if you want to you know, have a good flying model, go ahead and use the uh, diff different color tissue to lighten the weight quite a bit. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, show you what I'm doing with that. Again, thanks for watching our videos. The first thing we're going to look at right here, like I said before, uh, companies that uh, supply these kits will also supply a nice, uh, generous uh, sheet of uh, tissue for your model. Uh, for the uh, P51 Mustang, it's kind of like a silvery gray. Uh, you can even just go ahead and put it, you know, just cover the model with, with this. But you could also use the different color schemes too that the World War, World War II aircraft had. Uh, what I did was I went ahead and went online. I found a company that has sold this online. And I've got uh, three different, well, i got several different colors. But for this model, I'm using the, uh, the tan uh, for the top. In the sides, and I have the uh, blue for the bottom, and I have the uh, dark green uh, for the camo camouflage uh, color scheme for the uh, for the top of the model. And uh, I'll show you what I've done with that. Again, I pre-covered the model. I got the uh, the uh, brown or the tan on the top, and I had the sky blue on the bottom. Uh, but now I need to go ahead and get the uh, dark green. Uh, color scheme for the model and what I've done is I've taken a piece of, uh, of the gray tissue and it's kind of transparent enough where you can just kind of see it see through the uh, see see through the tissue to the color plans and then I'll just go ahead and uh, draw an outline of what the uh, markings look like and then I go ahead and cut them out now I'm not going to do for all of them, but I've done it for some, as you can tell. I have enough now to go ahead and uh, cover the model, and we'll just go ahead and uh, work on that now. Um, also, uh, as you do this and as you're applying it to the model, you want to go ahead and use a, a little bit of the uh, stick glue. Uh, to. Uh, Make sure it sticks on the model, and it does quite well. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start with the wing tip. Uh, like I said, uh, we'll kind of go over this first. I'm using the uh, washable school blue. Um, just put a little bit on the wing tip portion there, like so. All right. All right, so you kind of press it on, and there you go. And we'll go ahead and we'll do that for the uh, rest of the uh, color scheme. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, we fully covered the, uh, uh, the cam camo scheme on the model. Uh, here's what it looks like, and uh, now you can go ahead and uh, finish it off with the canopy and the uh, uh, getting it balanced out just right. And uh, we'll take this out on, on the backfield as soon as we get a nice uh, calm day here in Oklahoma. Thanks for watching.